Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about being a sole proprietor or becoming incorporated. I'm going to explain what my journey was and why I made my decision to become incorporated, but why it's better not to if you're starting off. So let me explain this a little bit. When I first started my mobile dental hygiene practice in 2018, I was a sole proprietor mainly because I didn't know what else to do. Becoming incorporated sounded like such a mess. When I would speak to other hygienists or even my accountant, they would always say, the hygienist and the accountant, there's a lot of paperwork, it costs so much more, it's better to just start off small and go from there. So I thought, okay, perfect. But little did I know, that year I made too much money where I ended up being taxed at 53%. So when you're a sole proprietor, the main thing is, is you're taxed on how much income you make. And I didn't just make income seeing patients. I have a tutoring business where I sell courses throughout the year. I was also doing other things that brought in multiple streams of income. So I fall into a tax bracket where I was taxed at the highest, which was a little over half. So here I was taxed around $40,000. And so here you think you're making great money. And then when my accountant told me how much tax I owed, I even sent them an email and I still have that email. Do you mean 400? 40,000, I was shocked and I was very, very upset. The good news was I followed my accountant's advice at the beginning and I would save a certain amount off of every paycheck that I got off of every income stream. I would always put a certain amount into savings. So that $40,000 was fine to pay off, but was I expecting a $40,000 tax bill? No. So I became incorporated right away. I basically said I want to be incorporated as of yesterday so this doesn't happen again. The good news is I did become incorporated as soon as possible with all the paperwork, talking to my accountant, you do need a corporation lawyer. Those appointments, okay, it took a couple weeks. I did have to sign a little bit more paperwork, but all in all, worth every penny. The big difference is I used to pay my accountant, let's say $500 to get everything ready. Now I'm paying upwards to $4,000, but that was also my first year of being incorporated. I think the fees were a little bit different, whereas now it's very easy to just maintain, where when I was first signing up to become incorporated, my accountant had to file this paperwork, talk to this person, change this, look up this, look up that. So. I'm hoping it's going to be less of a accounting fee this year, but that's all a business expense anyway. So I highly recommend becoming incorporated, but it depends on how much money you're making. Talk to your accountant. I now get taxed at 12%. That's a big difference than 53%, right? Huge difference. In fact, last year, the government owed me money because I had overpaid in my installments. I pay every four months in my business tax installment so I'm not hit by a big bill at the end of the year but I had actually overpaid apparently so I got money back so that's why I became incorporated but it might not be best for you definitely talk to your accountant the main thing to ask them is with my income the rate at where it's going how much am I going to be taxed what tax bracket am I in if it's a 53 percent being taxed I would become incor be become incorporated now if it's anything over like 12%, I would do it, honestly. But take my advice with a grain of salt, please. I'm not an accountant. I don't know you. I don't know your business. So there might be different situations where you don't want to become incorporated. But that's just my personal story from a regular person who was just a mobile dental hygienist. This is not me making hundreds of thousands of dollars per year because I own my own practice and hire many people. I was just a mobile dental hygienist. Very, very simple. Just me, no employees. But I did have other streams of income though with my tutoring, my teaching. But I still wasn't making a million dollars. I'm not making $500,000 and it was still better for me to become incorporated. So let me know if any questions. I'm very happy to help. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.